Now, meteorologist Jamie Jarosik and your Storm Team 2 forecast. If you're trying to get a walk in today, it's not looking great. This morning we have rain falling, so uh, pretty poor conditions between 8 and 10 o'clock. But after that, things will improve. At lunchtime, there's a chance of a few scattered showers, but definitely not the steady rain we're currently seeing. And then between 2 and 4, really expecting to get back to some drier conditions. With the sun coming out a bit and temperatures will be pushing into the 80s once that happens. So right around 84 at 4 o'clock. A check of live Doppler 2 HD radar, you can see uh, we have some widespread rain out there across most of the Miami Valley. Most of the rain in our northern counties is falling very light across the south is where we'll have some heavier pockets of rain. Uh, but right now it's down towards Gratis, extending through southern Montgomery County and into Green County, even Clark County, seeing some of that increased rainfall. But then up in Wapakoneta, Salina, St. Henry, you're not seeing a whole lot of action up this way. Drier conditions are expected. Uh, then we zoom out and you can see we've got a disturbance riding along a stalled front that's south of us. The heaviest rain is down along this boundary, and that's where we do have some flash flood watches in effect as we could see rainfall rates up to two inches an hour. We've got a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. Uh, zooming out, we've got our cold front to the northwest, so that's the next feature that will move through our area after the first one today. And that second cold front is going to bring in that really comfortable air we've been waiting for. You can take a look at those dew points behind that front. We're seeing them in the 30s and 40s, and then we're still stuck in that really sticky air out ahead of it. We've got 68 degree dew point in Dayton, 70 degree dew points all the way down to the south. Our humidity today is still going to be an uncomfortable level, but then we get towards Friday and the upcoming weekend. It's perfect timing. It's going to feel pleasant all three of those days, and then we'll start to see things change going into Labor Day with the humidity levels coming back up to sticky. Here's a check of future track showing the morning rain around. We'll begin to see the steadier rain taper to scattered showers as we head beyond lunchtime and quickly ending. After that, we get back to some sunshine for the drive home at 5. That second front moves through tonight. It may kick off a stray shower between 9 and midnight, and then it quickly moves out. We're back to clear sky as we head into Friday morning, and we've got a ton of sunshine in the forecast for Friday afternoon. Today we're going to be still feeling humid. We're going to see highs low to mid-80s. We'll have those showers around through mid-afternoon, then some sunshine. Overnight we'll drop back into the 50s. A spotty shower is going to be possible tonight. And then a mostly sunny, pleasant day Friday as winds turn in from the northwest. The humidity will be down, down to 53 Saturday morning with a high of 78. Ton of sunshine expected on Sunday. We're a little warmer at 82 in your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast. Labor Day, we hit 84. The humidity starts to come up a little bit and we'll see that slight chance of a spotty shower.